Boys tournament time. Uh, wait. We need tournament timer. Deck rule standard decks. Don't show the decks. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Let's try to not lose. <laughs> what are we playing against? Okay. Well, I feel like I still don't know what we're playing against. <laughs> I have seen what we are playing against, but I still don't know. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <clears throat> but it's definitely a thing. Uh, we got really good setup in this second lane. We can, like, go Aghanim, Sanctum, Stars Align. We could do Thunder God's Wrath next turn if we wanted to. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not a good idea, but we could. I will scorch is this constructed? Earth. Yeah, this is constructed. Ah, uh, I don't like that my Kana is dying. Yeah, this is not that big of a deal. Do I just kill this? I don't think I just killed this, right? Let's just chill. Like, I don't know what this guy's win condition is here. Oh! Full deck list. Okay. Now, what is the win condition? Come of the Dominator? Okay, we gotta make sure we are aware of the Disciple. Lightning Strike, so we're never safe. And lots of... Lots of improvements. Conflagration as well. March of the Machines. So our creeps aren't gonna be that valuable. So I don't think Connor will be that strong. Okay. Well, it's good to keep in mind here. So creeps aren't gonna be that strong. We need to make sure we are ready for the Sapper of Nevermore. But really all we have to do for that is make sure we have a blue here on all lanes, and we can just at any cost and blow up the lane. Okay. So do I go into this mid with my Draw Ranger? That's the thing. I kind of wanna set up in a different lane. I don't really wanna set up in this lane. So this line up here, the the guy is just getting pulled out, right? I can cast Aghanim Sanctum into this line from here, put it there, put Zeus there, and then at the bottom I just draw. Yeah, that seems fine. Hey Max, hey Nail, how are you all doing? I don't really like playing into the Ignite line too much. It doesn't sound all that strong. Well, it's fine, actually. I can't even just save the Agnum Sanctum until next turn. There's another Ignite. Alright, I think we're OTKing turn uh, lane 1. Like, I feel like that's gonna be our plan here. That's the, that's the way to win. We just one turn kill the lane 1. Which we can, by the way, very easily do. Like, it's, it's not even difficult. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to... I actually don't need to put down Sanctum. I don't, right? Because there's no Annihilation coming. And I can't just uh, cast Sanctum next turn with the Zeus in this lane. There's really no reason for me to cast the Sanctum right now. What do I want to cast, though? I can go down here. This guy's dead anyway. I wanna cast Foresight from here. They wanna keep this lane going a little while longer, or do I just put down an Ignite here? I feel like an Ignite in this lane is not a terrible idea. Right, I wanna cast Foresight in the bottom because there's a chance we multicast it, and if we multicast it, that's really good for us. Okay, that's a waste. This guy's got so many improvements. I don't really have any improvement destruction in this deck. But that's fine. I'm not really too worried about this. Ghast. Cheating death. Alright, nothing too good. But that's fine. Next turn I can actually like get some big blow-ups. That's actually not that big of a deal. I think there's a pretty high chance I find out God's Wrath here. I'm not sure.
I gotta draw a little bit of a win condition or something. Like, like that's my problem right now. That's really the only thing that's holding me back. I don't currently feel like I have a good win condition. So, as soon as I get that, we'll pretty practically Gucci. We'll be just fine. It's a little bit of a weird deck. It's got a lot of this, like, lane clear improvement stuff. Which is a little bit scary, but it's fine. Okay, that, that Venomance is almost certainly getting TP'd out. Damn, I'm just getting all of my removal. Which doesn't really feel good. I think what we do here is we're just cheating death in this line. I don't really feel the need for a Sanctum. I would like to blow up this one. I think I we're cheating you. death here. And honestly, I'm kind of fine with trapping them on the bottom. Although the problem is they've got so, so many improvements. Like, it's global cost range, but it's in the last lane, so it's not that big of a deal. You will be okay, Conflagration as well. So we're definitely blowing up that line. And then the TP out. Like, Escape Route is a very, very good card. The fact that you just have, like, a free TP every round is, is kind of stupid. Alright, so this is just getting blown up. Do I cast Aghanim Sanctum into this line going into it? I kind of want to keep the Aghanim Sanctum around for a combo in the top lane. So I think we just blow this up. Right? That seems fine. But yeah, to me, like, the, the, the lane that I'm really playing for is, like, I've got control over lane 1, and lane 1 is really the only one that matters. Like, all of the other lanes are a waste of everybody's time. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of harsh, but that's just how it is. I want to buy Artifact, but do you think, as a player that has never played a card game professional, will I be able to pe uh, keep playing for a long time if I having to Another use real money? No. You will have to spend money if you want to play Constructed. There's no way around it. Right, and if you're trying to find a way around that, then I'm sorry. It just isn't. Cool, I like this. Let's get that and we can start getting rid of some improvements. Okay, Ogomaji goes into the mid here. I could actually go send this guy bottom, see if I can blow that up with an Annihilation. Right, I think this guy is going mid. But he's not going to really push any damage. Like, when is not that scary. Oh, he's actually going top. Okay. So, turn six. Um, I can Star I can Gust, Star Saline, Aghanim Sanctum, Incarnation of Salamine. Oh, I just keep drawing removal. Okay. I think we Gust here anyway. I don't want to get Annihilated. It's not a good Annihilation by any means, but I still don't want to get Annihilated. Or do it just at any cost? I think I actually cast at any cost. These two definitely survive. They even survive the snipe on top of that. I can... Yeah, no, at any cost it's just strong here. And with a bit of luck I actually so my tree and protector survives too. That's fine. Yeah, that's definitely the strongest play here. Um, We give this to the draw ranger. Yeah, and then we just kind of like start shooting this. Nice. You thought you could stand against me? We heal you. And cool. So damage is pushing here. In the bottom lane, I just need to be Master able to do something. Hey, Biglers! <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you still enjoy the game. There's been a lot of negativity surrounding the game recently, but I still think it's fun. Again, I kind of want to write a little essay on it. Um, I'm just like running low on time as I always am. I, I, I know you guys hear me say this literally every single day. And I'm like, oh, but I don't have time. But I don't have time. But if I do find the time, I will make an effort. All right. I think we pretty much won this game. I don't know what the Necro's going to do. Like, the only thing we now need is card draw or, um... Like, basically, give me a win condition. Give me an emissary, give me an incarnation, give me something. 
Reddit has been pretty salty about it. I do think Reddit, like the Reddit community, as much as they are a bunch of shitheads, like I gotta say that the Artifact subreddit is probably one of the worst subreddits that I've ever seen. Um, but at the same time, there are quite a few things that they do actually have points. Like like some of it does actually make sense. And um, not all of it, of course. Actually, a large majority of it doesn't, but but some of it does. Um, man, why is this? A million cheating deaths, but nothing that actually lets me win the game. Crazy. All right, we can pretty much make this lane unkillable, which is kind of funny. Um, all right, let's actually start pushing for damage in this top lane. There's stars align here. Wow. Why would you do that? Well, then I don't stars align you. What was that? Oh, that's so stupid. Good night. Okay. Um, we give you the cloak. I think I heal the Zeus as well. The six HP heal is definitely not bad. Um, do I stars align? Nah, I can't put down a dimensional portal here. It's actually a little bit unfortunate that the creepers here can't start cleaning this. No, I don't actually want to put the dimensional portal there. Hmm. I don't really feel like wasting my stars online, to be honest. Do I need a second cheating death in this lane? I'll put a second cheating you death into this lane. Down. This lane is practically unkillable now. So that's fine. With uh, two cheating deaths in lane, do you have a 75% chance to not die? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Um, you get an even higher chance to not die. Hello, what's up? Thank you. All right, we're going to heal up. And um, do I put a Sanctum in this line? I feel like I put a second Sanctum into this first line. Because, <laughs> like, next turn, I feel like what I want to do, ideally, I just gust and go off, right? Assuming I draw something that lets me draw a card or... What? 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 Why would you do that? That was such a bad play. No demo gicking. Uh, for demo gicking to work, you need to actually be able to... Uh, your unit needs to be attacking the tower. You can't just use demo gicking. Um, why, why would you give up initiative like that? That is so bad. I just get to go off in the first lane. I kind of feel like I should have put maybe the Ogre Magic into the first lane. Chancing for multicast is always a good idea. Alright, pretty massive respawn, not really a big problem, these are all really squishy heroes. I've got pretty much infinite mana. Okay, oh, second Thunder God's Wrath just wins me the game, right? Like, if I draw another Thunder God's Wrath, this is just over. I've got so many draws that just win me the game. Foresight is not bad, Stars Online is pretty bad. Okay, um, start with Foresight. Relevation, good. We'll sleep through it. Adequate. Um, do I worry about the... No, no. No, don't need to worry about that at all. I can't just use the Diabolic Renovation. So let's start with uh, throwing down this nerd, though. Okay, Renovation. Let's draw some more cards. There's the Incarnation. And there's the second Thunder God's Wrath. Okay, cool. Uh, the funny thing is, I don't actually need to play the Incarnation here. Nah, I'm gonna... Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do play the Incarnation here. I don't really have to, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. We just double Thunder God's Wrath here. It's gonna kill everything except for the Necrophos. Boom. Boom. And boom, boom. <laughs> so everything is dead this line is being pushed for lethal uh, much more importantly I can actually put down an unearthed here which lets me draw another card also this line is also dead the necrophos is actually going to die he doesn't get to do anything this turn we're going to put down this 
This is mostly setting up for lethal next turn. Again, we're trying to two-turn this. And then we just kind of push for a kill on this one. Maybe I should have not played the the summon there. But it doesn't really matter. This guy's got two turns without any heroes. No so it's just like, whatever. I can also start actually clearing out these re, uh, these improvements. I'm not afraid of war. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, how much total damage has this guy done? <laughs> not very much. Alright, cool. Conflagration is done. Uh, I mean, obviously we don't do anything else here. <laughs> We're not gonna annihilate this lane. But Gus, Gus is not going to be relevant. Like, I'm still kind of drawing poorly. I know I'm completely destroying this guy, but I am still drawing poorly. Funnily enough. Okay, but uh, there's, there's so many draws now that are just going to be game winning, so it's fine. Right? Like, it's, it's almost impossible for us to draw something that doesn't win us the game. <laughs> oh, man. The man in suits just keeps getting blocked by creeps. Uh, another relevation and an emissary. There we go. So, all right, we're gonna get, just go ahead and fish for mega lethal on this. You on your successes. All right, let's go for relevant. Uh, just right here, creep gonna survive. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, didn't get anything that lets me push immediate lethal. So that's a little bit annoying. There will be nothing left of you. But that's but okay. So now we just want to heal up the Straw Ranger, so she is looking healthy as well. And then we just uh, two turn this. Okay. All right, he gives up. That's fine. This this is over. <laughs> I could have won this turn. I actually made a misplay. I shouldn't have summoned the creeps in the first lane, and I should have saved the incarnation for the third lane. If I had then done that, I would have won this turn without giving him another respawn. But I mean, this still wasn't even fucking close. So, so here's the important thing you need to remember about techies, right? He had two really really important things about techies and artifact. Number one. Techies doesn't share items. No, I don't want to show decks. Techies doesn't share items. No, Techies. Um, sorry. Meepo an artifact. Tech, uh, Meepo doesn't share items. So, you gotta buy items for all of the Meepos individually. Secondly, if one of the Meepo dies, all of the Meepos die. Now, you would think, well, that's such a big deal. Yeah, because your opponent gets money for all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get money for all of them. Every single meeple that die, you get money for those. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Alright, do I go for Diabolic Relevation here already? I kind of want to do it down here, honestly. We want to, like, OTK as quickly as possible. There's a definite chance we get that shit done before Time of Crime. This guy definitely doesn't have, like, as much of a meme deck as the other nerd. Smash the defense is going to be annoying. okay but yeah so if you have four meepos and one of them dies your pawn gets 20 gold that's pretty fucking bad that's pretty bad that's like not even just like mildly bad that's like really bad holy shit that is bad okay incarnation yeah I mean that's the strategy right I mean like we've got we've got a route to victory here let me take this route every single time. We'll try to squeeze out an incarnation as quickly as we can. We 
serve an oh. Emperor Galanius' will. Dude, it feels fucking bad, man. Alright. Multicaster boy. Alright, no multicast. So... I mean, where stars align or... We're like pretty close to just... But this guy here just dies every time, right? Now. Let's just put him bottom. Stars align or Agon of Sanctum away from winning this game. At any cost. Annihilation. So we're not going to get to do anything. At all. Right? If I kill all of this though, I can just throw down an emissary of Tokorum in this line for free. Yeah, we're just annihilate. Right? Like this is just this is just always the right play. Because next turn we just we get emissary for free. With no response possible. So that's pretty good. And we're just at any costing here. I am not accustomed to fighting. You raise your hand against Zeus? All right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I will not die. Yeah, I mean, with a bit of luck, we go even nuttier, but don't even really need it, to be honest. Don't even need it. Bad placement. Really bad placement. Really would have liked the creep here. Okay, so no creep for us. There's still uh, a lot of nice stuff we can get here to just... No Annihilation Gust. Okay, well, we didn't get any of the nice stuff, but we got some stuff, at least. Um, Stars Align, yeah. There is great power here. And then I probably actually moved the Ogre into this line. Emissary. Because I want to buff up the Ogre. Because, you know, if you can't buff up your heroes, you want to do that. A gift from the quarry. Okay. So how much am I worried about this line? Actually, not that much, right? Like, it's pushing six. What's important is that we don't die down here, but we're currently not dying down there. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is actually kind of fine. This is actually pretty alright. Don't really see, like, an immediate need to do anything. Sweet, sweet okay, Blink Dagger. Is he actually getting the axe out of there? It's questionable. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, oh yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool, totally. That's that's like, yeah, fine. It's, thanks, man. Like, <laughs> go right ahead, dude. Go right ahead. <laughs> it's fine with me, man. Fine with me. <laughs> okay. Um. So what lane are we going for? Mid or bottom? Bottom is sitting at 23. Mid is more immediately dangerous. Bottom, nothing's happening. But there's like nothing really happening in the mid either. I have some time here. Like this is, the, I'm not going to die in the mid. Not right away. <laughs> I might die in the mid. <laughs> Possibly right away. <laughs> 
Ja, yeah, you know. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know. Alright, we've been. Um. Yeah, so we just go for this. So. There's a scenario where we just multicast Funnel God's Wrath. And that would be a very good scenario, so we're gonna go ahead and go for it. Well, we didn't multicast Funnel God's Wrath. So that's a little bit disappointing. Not like massively disappointing, just a little bit. Okay, so there's really nothing this guy can do to stop this situation from happening. Right? Oh, this is totally fine. So, we are pushing plenty of damage here. Can I want to blink one of these out going to this line? Why I blink the Ogre Magi out of here? How much do I care? I'm pushing lethal pretty easily right now. seconds remaining. I feel like I do want to blink in that. Right. Five seconds remaining. Three, two. All right. So if I do this, I still push lethal, right? I think. I hope that the way just rearranges. I actually don't know. Yeah, no, this is still this still goes face. So yeah, that does actually work the way I wanted to. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. I got a fat ass ogre in this lane, which is nice. I mean that's kind of fine, honestly. Like doesn't really bother me much. Cause like the only thing I'm really worried about is dying. Like I know that sounds like well duh, but like still, that's really the only thing I care about, right? Like if I don't just randomly die here, I'm I'll do my part, totally man. fine. This is actually not even enough to push lethal. And then there's nothing happening in the bottom that I give a shit about, right? So like I just totally pass. I'll make short work of uh, I might actually annihilate. Bottom? Yeah, we annihilate. We are never annihilating top. Right? There's like no scenario in which we annihilate top for the rest of the game. The only lane we care about is this bottom lane. What's the weak play? Uh, nah, this is fine. This is fine. Because like we could get gusted into the top lane. But even then we're still pushing massive damage. Like this is not something that you can easily deal with even if I get gusted. Time of Triumph would be annoying, but against Time of Triumph, we're also fine. 15 seconds remaining. Well, what's the worst case scenario here? Worst case scenario is like... Star Saline Emissary. Star Saline Emissary would lose me the game, right? Five seconds remaining. Three, but then I can two, wait. One. No, like, triple Star Saline Gust Emissary. That would lose me the game, but like, that's pretty unlikely. <laughs> Okay, so if triple stars align Gust Emissary happens, then we lose. I'm just gonna accept that. <laughs> hey, if that's what happens, then that's okay. Okay. You can totally blink drown and annihilate. No, 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 no. It doesn't do anything. Like, yes, I can, but why? Do I have a don't have a blue hero on the top, right? So I'm gonna put a blue hero on top. I don't wanna waste annihilation. Don't wanna use it until I have to. Because like for example, I can annihilate this mid lane here. Pretty much guaranteed. And if I annihilate that mid lane, like what the fuck is gonna come from? Like like what is he gonna do here? He's not gonna be able to push the lethal damage. Like you guys are thinking far too aggressively. You guys are trying to like end this game right now, and we don't have to. We actually have don't have to do anything. 
right? Like, we can take this super chill. We just silence here. Right? Do I pray on the weak? Do I bother? I want to do ignite. Ignite in the bottom lane. Does ignite do anything here? No. So I think we found our God's Wrath, actually. Because that, get, that gets us two kills right here. And now we pray on the weak in this line. And now we just emissary. None can oppose the quorum's will. The dirt may have you. And so there's no response possible in this mid lane. Hmm. Bottom lane is currently is not dying. To be smited by me personally. I mean, we win. This game is 100% over, right? Yeah. Yeah, this game is over. There's just nothing, nothing that he can do. It's completely 100% over. There are no available plays for him to win this game anymore. Cool. <clears> hmm. <throat> Got him. Yeah, that doesn't win though. Like, I, 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 that's, that's why I annihilated the mid lane. We didn't want to lose that tower and then not somehow get cheesed down here. Which there were some possibilities, right? And there's just no need to take that chance. Because again, we, we win top. And there's no respawns happening. He has no way to respond. He has no way to interact with us. So we win 100% of the time. I don't have to buy anything because there's nothing you can do. Got him! Man, why did we wait so long for this, dude? Well, you wait fucking three hours to play against the scrub. Like, what's the point? <laughs> God damn it, man. Got him! Wait, I need to take a screenshot. Cool. It's not a bad deck. Should have more Stone Hollow leads. Why only one Bronze Legion here and one Stone Hollow lead? I don't understand that. I feel like if I were to change the stack up, I would like probably reduce the amount of Cheating Death in here. Salamain's Favor is kind of neat. Like it's a ramping deck, but like Stone Hollow lead and Bronze Legion here are so good. I don't really feel like you want to give up on that. I don't think Unearthed Secrets is needed in this kind of deck because it's very all in. And I don't think Cheating Death is actually something you need. Because your heroes are big enough that you can't just kind of like swing with them. And we'll probably add in another red hero as like one of the main heroes as opposed to leaving them as support. Stop showing the decks! I want to do this so bad right now. The guy, the guy is playing mono red. I want, I want to do this so bad. I, I've been, I've been crafting, masterfully crafting my mono red deck. My mono red deck is a work of art. Uh, whatever. Let's take this seriously. Man. I should have picked my mono red tag. Oh well. Mono red is actually pretty scary for us because it just has so much immediate pressure. Okay, good flop though. Good start. Real good start. Good draw, too. It was actually looking really really sick for us. Yeah, we're going to try to OTK turn on lane 1, I think. Maybe lane 2? We'll see. Um, They're probably not on Ignite here. Yeah. I do find out on Ignite here. Yeah. 
Mono Red is not as scary for Mono Red. Dude, Mono Red, I love Mono Red against Mono Red. The matchup is so fun. It's really stupid, but it is really fun. Alright, cool. I'm glad I put it down here. Yeah, my poor Trian is not gonna have a good time. Okay. Draw Ranger goes uh, here. Does she? I feel like Draw Ranger actually. No, no. Mm, not a chance, but not the odds. Odds are fairly high that she doesn't end up in front of the Bristleback, and that's the only place where we don't want her. She does end up in front of the Bristleback, that really sucks, but like. I kind of need Draw Ranger in this line to do something. <sighs> Come on, dude. Fucking scamass over here, man. Oh, double Gust. Okay, well, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just doesn't feel good. Okay. Well, we're gonna, gonna go ahead and start drawing for some. It's got routed. Ah, this guy actually... This guy actually knows how to play Mono Red, too. I don't completely agree with the list, although I think Mercenary Exiles is something I need to add into mine. The Dyer's power is absolute. This this is so shitty for me. I'm so unhappy this about this. Will of the like, pretty much anything else would have been perfectly fine, but that is just really bad. We won't let Stone Hall down. Okay. Free enough magic? Yeah, that's how that's how you play that. Like you got that's that's how you win, you know, that's your win condition. Just spam enough magic. The weakness of mono red is it doesn't push that much damage. I know that seems unintuitive, right? It seems like wait, how does it not push a lot of damage? Like that's isn't that all it does? Um no. Like the thing about mono red is it really struggles to actually finish the game. Um, and you can actually stall against it pretty successfully for a pretty long time. So that's kind of like the thing. That's a lot of heroes in the mid lane. If I get Annihilation, he's just going to be fucked. Like you don't, I don't really feel like that's a good play right there. I uh, did not get an annihilation. Stars align doubled up. So the important thing is that there's actually no smash to defenses in this deck. So without that, my. Improvements are just gonna be allowed to go nutty. God, look at all of the screen. And that's why I was so annoyed to see my my draw ranger just get murdered. Alright, I don't really have a reason to do anything here. I can go off from this line later. Like next turn, I can just blow up the entire map, get five kills. Actually, do I go off from this line? I'll go off from this. We'll have to wait and see. I would prefer to go off from here, honestly. Because I can gust here. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I see no reason to do anything. It's not like I really can do anything. And then this. Yeah, this is what I mean with like... Mono red just doesn't really push any damage. Like, you see this? There's, there's just a Ursa in this bottom lane, and like, yeah, okay, it's kind of scary, but is this killing me? No. No, it's really not. Like, it's gonna be about seven days before that kills me. So it's like, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, What's the worst case scenario here? 
Nothing really, right? Like, we're just fine. I think we won. I know it sounds like a bit of an early call, but like, did we just win? Is this game just over? And now our stars align and cheating death. Well, our draw is really bad. But other than that, everything is great. Okay. I'll put down the cheating death over here. No thanks are required. Don't really, again, have a reason to do anything. So, there's definitely a chance we just get enough magic in the mid here. Which is fine. Like, even if it happens, it's fine. If it doesn't happen, I gust and just go off. And if it does happen, I get to go off next turn with Olga Magi, which is even better for me. Like, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Again, it's totally, totally fine. I get to draw some more cards. I get initiative. Yeah, we won this game. Okay, I, I need... Um... Uh, no, that guy is actually kind of annoying. This is why mercenary exiles are actually pretty good, because you can just buff these guys up with like 5 extra damage, and then you're swinging for quite a bit. Oh, didn't. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to gust, and then stars and iron, and just kind of win. <laughs> I, I guess that's how this is going to go. And the great thing is we get to do it with Ogre Magi, so we get to, like... Fano God's Wrath for hopefully three times. Like if I get three Fano God's Wrath, so I get to kill the, the 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 axe, which is pretty damn good. Emissary something, Agnum Sanctum, Arcana Sword. We can draw a card with that, so that's fine. We don't actually have to use all of our Stars Alliance here either. The season shift. So we just like Sanctum, Incarnation, Thunder Gods, Pew, 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 got him. So I do think we go for another Thunder God's Wrath, probably, right? Ah, no. No, we're not. Okay. Um, well, we put down Unearthed Secrets down Let's here. Share. So we draw a card. Of the world. <laughs> now you use Routed. No, I... <laughs> I would like to, but... Sadly, not an option. And then we just Arcane Assault, right? See if we draw something good. Diabolic Relevation. We don't use that now, do we? Do I? Huh. I feel like I shouldn't have played the fucking... The cloak. I can use that now. I need to use another spell. So we used that now I have to use the Thunder God's Wrath. Am I losing out on anything? I'm losing out some damage here, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I think I do use it. Yeah, okay. It, it was worth it. It was worth it. This was the right play. So... Emissary doesn't go here, I don't think so, actually. Does the emissary go into this line? The emissary doesn't go into this line, right? We need to take care of ourselves. The emissary goes into this line. The wind whispers. I need supplier, 
Cool, 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 cool. And now it's just the bottom, but there's four heroes dead, so it's not like any respawn's gonna happen. Okay, so it's just axe in the top. Um, yeah. I mean, there's nothing axe can do, right? Like, is there a card? Does it exist? I don't think it does, right? Definitely not in his deck. Yeah, I mean, cool. Like, go ahead. I mean, I think that's fine. <laughs> Goodbye. Like, if it makes you happy, my dude. <laughs> Alright, we got him. I took a screenshot, too. Look at me. I'm not... Dude, showing decks on. Okay, cool. So I can change deck now, or what? <laughs> Okay, we can't win against that. Like, showing decks on is stupid. Because, like... Whatever. <sighs> what Eevee. Bad flop. Ooh, real bad flop. I mean, why just at any cost this one? So at least we trade... Nah, I feel like I want to keep it any cost around. Is this just a tournament list? Oh, I've seen this list before, yeah. Yeah, that shit's scary, alright. Holy fuck, man. Alright, we in trouble. We are in bad shape. <laughs> Um, also sucks that our Kana spawn bottom. I will bring us victory. Sword ladders, really, as well. God, fuck. Okay, so we got bottom under control at least. They just like leave these first two lanes. Send the drow bottom. If I put her anywhere else, she's just gonna die. Actually, she's got a pretty good chance of surviving in the mid. Alright. So the mid is the one that we have to immediately deal with. Okay. I mean, so far we're actually still looking alright. Like, it's mostly just we haven't, we're not taking that much damage at this stage. Which is what matters in the end. Hmm. How nutty do I go next turn? I can. I can get pretty close to getting out incarnation of Salamine. So I always at any cost the mid lane, right? Yeah. The mid lane is getting at any cost a hundred percent of the time. So we put on an Aghanim Sanctum here. And we use the Sanctum, of course. Do I foresight? Not dimensional portal. Let's get some more stuff out here. I'm gonna save the second sanctum. We don't need it right now. Okay. So we can actually, we can definitely win this. 
I'm also gonna disregard the top lane for the time being. Zeus goes here. They sent both blue heroes, man. Let's go out Orgamagi top. Okay, so that's not good. I need more card draw. I can foresight down here before I do anything else. Actually, I need to healing self this kind of. This is all looking very shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. We'll be at least fine in this lane. So much of the machines is kind of a problem. Okay. So we need initiative going into the next lane. So we're going to get ourselves initiative. Cool. Annihilation is nice. Annihilation is what we need. Okay, man. Yeah, now we can just kind of like throw some stuff down. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So this is taking a lot of damage. This happens every time. I keep the Zeus around, right? The duel that's happening here happens right away every single time anyway. And if there is no duel, I'm fine. But if there is one, there's nothing I can do about it. So I might as well not play around it. Oh. Oh, well, that works for me. Okay. This Don't put a sanctum in here. The dire can give you. So we're not really getting anything done, really. So the top is definitely dead. Like a hundred percent always dead. I need I need an emissary or or something. Okay. So the important thing is that while we're dying top, we're not dying too quickly. Right? So we might even have an opportunity to throw down uh, um, an Annihilation or something like that. If I put um, the Ogre Magi there next turn. And mid lane is not really dying at all. Mid lane is just kind of fine. Best case scenario would actually be if he throws down a disciple in this lane right now. If he does that, I just. I'm just fine, right? Yeah, okay, nothing happens. That's not surprising. So then we have this. Okay. It's actually fine. I don't have a need to do anything in the bottom. And I get to prevent huge damage in here. In the top. 
do I just lose? I can play a lot of stuff here. But if I do it, I won't have initiative. This is dying anyway. This is gonna come down to a mind game. This is what is gonna happen in this game. This is going to be decided by whether or not I can guess if he's going mid or going top. Right. That's what this comes down to. Is he going mid or is he going top? I think he's going mid. I think he's going mid. Yes. Oh my god, okay. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. So I don't do anything here. Because I have to keep initiative. If I get ganked, I lose. Okay. No gank one time. I don't put Drow bottom to push more damage. Uh, I wanted to make sure I have at least a little bit of blocking in the top, even so that even in case it goes like mega wrong, maybe arrows can like cheat me out of out of something. No, Vandal. Oh, thank God, Vandal doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I don't mind that. It doesn't do anything. We are fine. Yes. We're fine. Okay. We don't win yet. Well, how does this work? We're at least temporarily. All right. Great. Okay. You got <laughs> so I cannot have initiative no matter what I do, right? Um, so I TP out Kana here, right? But I put down the incarnation first. I play a bunch of stuff, I put down the incarnation, and then I TP out Kana after giving her the cloak and put Kana top. So with Kana and Zeus there, I'm pretty much guaranteed. Okay, that seems that seems like the play. Right, so we throw down everything we have into this lane. And then we put you double ignite here. I, will drown you in blood. I don't even know if double ignite here is any good. It actually seems like a pretty bad idea. We're gonna put an unearthed secret into this line because if there's a creep that spawns, I get a card draw. And then we actually should have put unearthed secrets here. That was my bad. We put that on Kana. We teleport Kana out. <laughs> no annihilate. <laughs> that would have been the next level play. Um. 
Okay. And we put both blue heroes top. And we go for an Annihilation. And Kana has 16 HP. So the only thing Kana dies to is... Is Coup de Gras. And there's no way to kill both heroes at the same time. So I win. We got him. No, it's over. We won. Right? We've got Emissary. We can go Emissary bottom. Emissary bottom should be enough damage. I mean, look at how many units there are. Right? We won. I currently don't even have to <laughs> annihilate, funnily enough. Okay, let's calculate this out really quick. One, two, three, four. Oh, what is this? I have face boots. I have face boots. I can move that. Nonsense. Wait, is that it? Do I even annihilate then? This is just fine right now, right? Nah, fuck it. We still know how that goes. As long as you keep initiative, you don't have to. But I will not be able to keep initiative. There's actually no scenario in which I can keep initiative. This is easily enough. Something will grow where you fall. Got him. Let's go. Got him. Nice. Ah. All right. All right. Yeah, that came down to that one guess, but I think I think I predicted that right. Let's go. Ah, that feels good. But you know what doesn't feel good? That I have to leave right now. I have to go. <laughs> that does not feel good. But I do have to go. So yeah, I guess that's it for the, for this tournament.